It's the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time already. And this gospel reminds us of a gospel that we heard back in Advent. When we listen to that gospel of John the Baptist saying, he goes, I baptize you with water, but there is one that is coming after me that is going to baptize you with fire. The gospel today talks about Jesus telling his disciples that I want to baptize you with a fire that fills the earth ablaze with the love of God. One that is so strong, so determined, that it will divide people at times. Because some people will not open their minds and their hearts to what God has in store for them. So the Gospel today talks about divisions between mothers and fathers and sons and daughter-in-laws. It goes through all those different examples because what Jesus is trying to say is that we have to put our hearts in the discipleship that Jesus really wants for each and every one of us. He is telling us that we can't let anything get in the way of how we bring the message of God to others. Again, that's always the biggest challenge because we get distracted by life. We get distracted even by our own families, the people that we love. We think, well, as long as I'm just doing for my family, I'm doing everything that God wants me to do. And really, we come to understand that God wants us to do so much more. It doesn't mean that we have to never sleep again or take on so much stuff that we're doing that we never get to rest. But it does mean that we have to be mindful in a different way. It means that we have to be mindful of God in everything that we do at every point in the day. And that everything we can accomplish is accomplished because of God working through us. My friends, I invite you to come to a Church of the Nativity, a stewardship parish here in Midland Park, New Jersey, because we are trying to do that. We are trying to adhere to the mission of Jesus and to be challenged on how we can do more, sometimes in the very ordinary and simple things of our lives. When we can do those things well, the fire of Christ's baptism comes alive in a way that we will never expect. And that's what I want for this parish and for all of you. So as you listen to this, say that prayer today to yourself. Ask God to help you set your baptism on fire. Make it something meaningful. Make it something worthwhile. Make it something that you talk about and give to someone else today by whatever it is that you may choose to do. We have our, our picnic coming up next month in September, and we're looking forward to gathering our community back together again after a, a nice break from the summer. And so I ask you to continue to pray for Church of the Nativity so that we as a parish community can continue to grow together. God bless you.